from my trip, which was an absolute fail. So welcome back to my channel so today i am doing a vlog because i'm off to give blood so i'm going to bring you along with me today i am running super late um my makeup is like half done but yeah we're just gonna have to go like this so yeah we're going to go and give blood i'm going to show you what the process is and hopefully you will be inspired to also give blood as well so yeah i'm just need to finish off i need to tidy up because my room is an absolute mess i need to order my train ticket so yeah i will bring you along with me and yeah i need to stop chatting because i need to go so yeah see you in a bit okay guys so this is what i'm having um for lunch so before i head out it's just a jacket potato with tuna mayo and onions and then i've also got a packet of crisp and i'll probably have a protein bar as well it depends on if i am still um hungry so yeah this is what i'm having before i go because i don't want to pass out i don't want to bloody embarrass myself in the place so yeah and you have to eat before you go because they always ask you what did you have for lunch so yeah this is what i'm gonna be be having so i'm gonna eat that now there goes my train i have just missed my train so i thought okay i'm just gonna record the intro but yeah i haven't done a vlog in a very long time so i'm super super excited uh the next time you'll see me is when i get to the donor center so yeah i shall see you there okay so i have just got to town uh, it's fairly busy and i'm running super 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 late so my appointment was at four o'clock it's now 4 10 so i'm hoping that we're all good to go So I've got something to take back to Zara after I'm done. Hopefully I've got enough energy for that. But I'm going to stop the camera now, just in case I get told off. So yeah, I shall see you when I get inside. Okay guys, I'm hoping you can hear me over the mask. So they were just ask me some COVID questions. Um, and now when every time you go to give blood, you have to answer this questionnaire so it's quite lengthy it's just about your medical history and then I'm just going to fill this out and then I need to give it back to reception okay so I've handed her back the form and now I need to get myself a drink because you have to be well hydrated this is the large glass of water that I need to drink before I go in. Okay, I got to pull my mask down, I guess. Okay, so they are following social distancing guidelines. They've got all the seats spread out, so that's good. So, yeah, they're adhering to the rules. So, I think I'm going to be called. Just 
okay guys so i am back from my trip which was an absolute fail so i was just about to take my makeup off and all of that jazz and i thought okay i'm just gonna come on camera and wrap up the video and tell you exactly what happened so after i had showed you um me filling out the form and i was drinking my water i then got called into the room and in this room they have a look at your form that you completed ask you questions if you've selected yes on any of the uh questions um and then once that's done you then get tested for iron to see what your iron count um is looking like so i was meant to mention this in the introduction but i totally forgot but the last time I tried to give blood, um, my iron count was low, so I wasn't able to do that. So I was, um, I think they said the next time I could try was in six months, but it was well over six months that um, I was trying again. And I thought that my blood count was low because I had gone to give blood. I think I was either... It was either the time of the month I had or I had just come off out of the two. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was around the time of the month. So I thought, okay, my iron count might be low because obviously you're using up more iron when you're on. So I thought, okay, um, that's fine. I'll give blood later on in the future, whatever. So this is the second time that I went and got tested for my iron count and it came back low again. So it was at 111 and it needs to be around 120, 125 in order to give blood. Um, so the lady that tested my iron said that she's gonna have to bring the nurse in um, and just give me some advice or whatever. So the nurse has recommended that I speak to the doctor about my iron count. So yeah, I wasn't able to, to give blood, unfortunately, because my iron count is too low. So yeah, um, I probably will book an appointment with the doctor just to get that checked out and probably get some iron tablets as well. So yeah, I'm really good actually, because I wanted to show you guys the full thing. But of course, um, it's just not safe for me to, to do that. So yeah, that was my experience. You got to see a little bit of it um not the full thing but i have now been banned from giving blood for 12 months now so i'm not able to try again for the third time um and she said if i after 12 months and i then want to give blood again and then it comes back as my iron count is too low again um, I will be sort of like blacklisted from giving blood so I won't be able to give blood ever again if it comes back as low the third time round which I'm actually gutted about so I'm going to call the doctors in the morning um, and just let them know the situation um, and get a blood test done to sort that out but she did say that when you're giving blood they do like your iron to be extra extra high um so the first time when my iron count was low it wasn't like severely low but this time around it's like low low so yeah i'm gonna have to get that sorted out so yeah i'm so sorry guys i'm really sorry that it's not the vlog that it was meant to be but hopefully um hopefully i'm still doing youtube a year from now and Hopefully, I'll then be able to show you the full experience. And before I go, before I go, guys, so I wasn't able to give blood today. Um, if you are able to, if you want to do some research into giving blood, then please, please, please do do that. I will leave the website on the screen somewhere as to where you can um, sign up to donate blood. And it's really, really important, especially those from... Um, the black community and the Asian community that we are trying our best to um, donate because there sometimes is a lack of donors from 
those groups so yeah if you can um and if your health um permits you to do that then yeah please try and and give blood i wasn't able to do that um so i'm hoping that one of you guys can do do your bit um i won't be able to do that for 12 months but i will try again when i know my iron levels are up to scratch so yeah i'm gonna leave the video there if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel already make sure you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification button so you don't miss another day in the life with shan and i shall see you in my next video guys bye